Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I am Hasha Ali Khan. Last video, I have completed the problem on uh, binomial distribution. One video I have given completely on explanation theory regarding theoretical distribution and binomial distribution. Now I am going to start the next distribution that is Poisson distribution. Actually, theoretical distributions can be broadly classified into two categories. The distribution for discrete series and the distribution for continuous series. The binomial distribution and Poisson distribution both are for discrete probability distribution. Discrete means where the R value will be in whole number. That means uh, the value for which we are calculating the probability should be in whole number. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. We should not have any fraction. So in those circumstances, we can apply the Poisson as well as binomial distribution. Now in this video, I'm going to explain you about what is this Poisson distribution? What are the characteristic features of Poisson distribution? And what is the importance of this uh, Poisson distribution? In examination, not only problems, but also theory will be asked regarding the Poisson distribution. So this video will be very important for attempting the theory question as well. So take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board then I'll explain all the points in detail. Now, <clears throat> Poisson distribution. The Poisson distribution is also <clears throat> a discrete probability distribution which is widely used by statisticians in different circumstances just like binomial distribution. Now it was originated by a French mathematician. His name was Simon Denis Poisson in 1837. Strictly speaking, this Poisson distribution is a limiting factor of a binomial distribution. That means the binomial distribution is good, but under certain circumstances, the binomial distribution will become difficult to apply, difficult to calculate. So in those circumstances where we, it is difficult to apply binomial distribution, then we apply Poisson distribution. That's why the Poisson distribution is called the limiting factor of binomial distribution. Now, as n becomes infinitely large and p is very small, very near to zero. In the previous uh, videos, I have given the number of problems on binomial distribution. In binomial distribution, the value of n was 8, 10, 15, 10, uh, not more than 15, below 15. That means always the value of n was very small. 3, 4, 8, then that's it. Not more than 20. So we have not come across where the value of n is a large value like 100, 200. We will never come across, right? Because if n is large, it will be highly difficult to apply the binomial distribution. In those cases where n is large and p probability of success is very, very small. In those circumstances, it is difficult to apply binomial distribution. In that case, the Poisson distribution is the best alternative, right? Uh, such situations are fairly common. So we come across these rare events also where the P value is very small and N value is very large. Poisson distribution may be expected in cases where the chance of any individual event being a success is very small. In examination, all these points you have to write. That means if in any event, the chance of happening that event is very small, the probability of success is very small. In that case, it is better to apply Poisson distribution to find out the expected uh, probability, expected frequency. The distribution is used to describe the behavior of rare events and has been called law of probable events. This Poisson distribution will be applied on rare events because the events which we are discussing where n is large, p is very small, it is not common, it is uncommon or rare events. That's why this binomial distribution is also called law of improbable events. Now, in recent years, 
the statisticians has a very, have a renewed interest in the occurrence of comparatively rare events. Earlier, the binomial distributions were widely used, but nowadays the statisticians have seen that there are some events which are rare events. In those cases, it will be difficult to apply binomial, so we apply Poisson. The Poisson distribution is a discrete probability distribution. I already told you that whenever the R value is in whole number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, then only we can apply this Poisson. If the R value is in fraction, we cannot apply the Poisson distribution because Poisson distribution is a discrete probability distribution. The Poisson distribution is a discrete distribution with a single parameter m. See here. In binomial distribution, the parameters are n and p. We require separately n and p. Then only we can apply binomial. But in case of Poisson distribution, the parameter is a single factor that is m. That is m. The probability function of the Poisson distribution is. In the previous videos, we have applied a number of uh, problems, number of formulas that uh, P of R is equal to NCR, P to the power of R, Q to the power of N minus R. This was the formula for probability of R successes according to binomial distribution. But in Poisson distribution, the function, the probability function is P of R is equal to E to the power of minus M into M to the power of R divided by r factorial this formula will give you probability of r successes according to poisson distribution now e to the power of minus m this e to the power of minus m we can get by referring the poisson table so i will provide you that for poisson table in the link so you take a copy and keep it ready without this poisson table we cannot be able to solve the problem in examination, e to the power of minus m value normally will be given. If it is not given, you have to carry the table. Without that table, we cannot find out p of r. The distribution is completely known when the value of parameter m is known. Single parameter is there m. Once if you calculate the value of m, we can find out p of r. The whole Poisson distribution depends on one parameter that is m. Now, Poisson distribution as an approximation of the binomial distribution. See, actually, for the same problem, we can apply binomial or we can apply Poisson. Then what is the speciality of this Poisson distribution? Some circumstances, the binomial distribution will become difficult to calculate. In that case, this Poisson distribution will come to the rescue. Now, sometimes if we wish to avoid the tedious job of calculating binomial probability distribution, we can use the Poisson instead. The first condition is, whenever it is difficult to apply Poisson or binomial distribution because of calculations are more, in that case, we come for Poisson. The Poisson distribution can be a reasonable approximation of the binomial distribution, but only under certain circumstances, under conditions. So normally we apply binomial only, but only under certain conditions we will apply Poisson. What are those conditions? Here, these conditions are when n is large and p is small. That is when the number of trials is large and the probability of success is small. This is the only condition where we apply Poisson distribution. If the value of n is large, for example, n is 200, and P is 0 0.001. P probability is 0 0.001. Whereas N is large 200. If we apply this information with binomial. It will take a lot of time. Lot of calculations. It's a tedious method. So in that condition. We apply Poisson distribution. So Poisson distribution will give an approximate value to binomial distribution. Now. The rule most often used by statistician is that the Poisson is a good approximation of binomial when n is equal to or greater than 20 and p is equal to or less than 0.05. A rule of thumb has been given by most of the statistician. They say that if the value of n is more than 20, 20 or more than 20 and the value of p probability is less than 0.05. 
in this circumstances it is better to apply poisson distribution rather than binomial now characteristics of poisson distribution very frequently in examination theory question will be asked what are the characteristics of poisson distribution the first characteristic like binomial distribution poisson is a discrete probability distribution first characteristic the Poisson distribution is also a discrete probability distribution where the R values are whole numbers, integers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. If we have fractional value, that Poisson distribution cannot be applied. Second, it is applied in conditions where the probability of success of an event P is very small and that of the failure EQ is very high, almost equal to 1 and n is very large. This is the main condition where we apply Poisson distribution, where the probability of success p is very, very small. When p is small, q will be very large because p plus q is equal to one. The probability of success and failure, if you add up, it will be equal to one. So if p is very small, automatically q is very large and the number of trials n should be very large. This is the second characteristic. Third one is the main parameter of Poisson distribution is m. m. So first of all, we have to calculate m. What is m? n into p. Multiply n into p, we will get m value. And this m is the main parameter of Poisson distribution. Now, mean is equal to m. Now you have to remember, if you want to calculate the mean, the formula for mean is m and variance variance means standard deviation square the square of standard deviation is called variance the variance is under root m right now poisson distribution is applicable when there are number of random situation where the probability of success on a single trial is small and the number of trials is very large so the, these are the few characteristics Characteristics of Poisson distribution. Now, importance. Where it is applied, actually, in which situation this Poisson distribution will be applied? What is the importance? So many instances are there, many areas are there where we apply Poisson distribution. Rare events. This Poisson distribution will be applied in rare events. So the Poisson distribution is used in practice in a wide number of problems when there are infrequently occurring events with respect to time, area, volume or similar units. That means infrequently, not frequently, very rare events that the possibility of success is very, very remote, very rare. In those cases only we apply Poisson distribution. For example, it is used in quality control to count the number of defects. First area, many manufacturing organizations, they will use quality control techniques. In those quality control techniques, we apply Poisson distribution because the probability of defective good is very less. Because the company has applied so many quality control techniques, that's why the defective item will be very less. So in those circumstances, we apply this uh, Poisson distribution. Secondly, in biology, to count the number of bacteria, because the possibility of bacteria in a particular item is very less. So in biology, to calculate the bacteria, we apply Poisson. Thirdly, in physics, to count the number of particles emitted from a radioactive substance. In physics also, what is the probability of uh, particles emitted from radioactive substance or in insurance problem in insurance problems the to count the number of casualties what are the casualties in insurance companies they have to count so normally casualties will be very rare because when the insurance company issues insurance policy very frequently the event will not occur rarely the event will occur so insurance company also make use poison distribution for rare events Similarly, the Poisson distribution is extremely useful in determining the number of death in a district in a given period of time for rare disease. There are some rare diseases. So how many deaths are occurring in that, uh, due to that rare disease? We apply Poisson distribution. Because it's a rare disease, it's not a common disease. 
Now, the Poisson distribution is also used in problems dealing with inspection of manufactured products with the uh, prob probability that any one piece is defective, is very small and the lots are very large. Similarly, in case of manufacturing organizations, if the chance of defective item is very low and the lot size is very large, so in that case to find out the probability of defective item, we apply Poisson distribution. So this shows the importance of this uh, Poisson distribution. That's all. So these are the things you have to remember regarding Poisson distribution. So I told you not only from problems but also in theory it will be asked. So watch the video once, twice, thrice to get all the points. And always maintain a notebook record whatever lecture I am giving. Write it down. Then only you can be able to get a complete command on the topic. So inshallah we will start the problems on Poisson distribution in the next video. So if you are satisfied give a like to the video. Share my channel in your group, in your friend circle so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Then give your comments. Subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed. What I am seeing, the viewers are increasing. I am getting more and more views. But subscription rate is very, 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 very small. I don't know why you hesitate to subscribe. And lastly, by the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah, we will continue the problems on poison distribution in the next video.